Before we get into this video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to me and you because this video was actually inspired by him. But with that aside, we're going to be doing one of the hardest challenges known to every Blocks Fruit player, and that is going outside and touching some grass. Just kidding. If you play Blocks Fruits, no one touches grass. Am I right? Instead, we're going to actually do the complete opposite. We're going to be speed running every single awakening in Blocks Fruits, but I'm going to add a little twist to it. I am going to be solo, solo speed running it all. all. There is currently 12 different awakenings in block shirts right now some of them are easy and some of them are actually not even meant to be soloed but i want to test my skill can i beat all of the raids by myself in a super fast speed so before I even start it all, I want to go spin a fruit real quick and see if my luck is good because that will determine if I will have a good speed run this video. So now that we're at the block fruit gotcha, hopefully I get something good because I'm going to be bummed out if it's a really bad thing. And actually, this is great. This is actually the first raid we're going to do. We're going to be doing the flame fruit awakening and then we'll move on to the next fruit right after. This video is going to also be pretty expensive because I'm going to have to buy so many raids. So let's go ahead and talk to the mysterious scientist, click the normal raid and click flame so we're gonna go ahead and trade that in and now that we actually just traded our flame fruit we got a chip for free so let's go ahead and start up our raid and hope for the best i'm actually gonna change my pale scarf to the valkyrie helmet because it gives me bonus sword damage and we need all the damage we can get to start these raids sorry buddy i don't know who you are but you can't come for this raid i gotta solo speed run this all right here we are into the first island let's take a look at that timer whenever it shows up it's gonna start counting down in three two one all right we're at 12 minutes and 30 seconds starting let's see how fast i can finish this raid and oh my gosh just my luck as i am starting off this raid a fruit spawned in at the game at the bottom of my screen as you guys can see we're about 8,000 meters away from the fruit there's no way we're getting that fruit today here we go first island complete in under a minute now i don't know if i'm gonna be setting any world records but i am doing it solo so maybe this will be the set marker for if somebody tries to beat the records i don't know but hopefully it's super fast and it's really hard to beat that's the the goal of this video okay we're on the third island and there's only 10 minutes and 59 seconds left so actually we're at a really good rate right now i am speeding to the other islands as fast as i can okay fourth island with 10 minutes left still we're on a good pace here i can tell this is gonna be absolute torture i have been clicking rapidly like crazy and my fingers are hurting right now and we still haven't even completed the first raid yet we got 11 more to go after this one's complete. Okay, we're now at the boss island. There's about eight minutes and 50 seconds left. This is not good. We're not at a great rate right now because they spawned in some tanky minions that showed up a second ago. I am melting this boss pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie, guys. But for some reason, my character broke and now he's doing this weird wide stance when every time I swing. It looks weird. It looks extremely sus too. My goal is to beat this raid before seven minutes is over. Right now, it's seven minutes and 30 seconds. I just gotta kill these minions because they keep spawning these npcs gotta stop and oh my gosh did i beat it in time or is there more minions oh no another npc just spawned i have to beat it in 10 seconds okay perfect seven minutes and nine seconds left in that raid so i completed that at a pretty good rate let me know are you guys able to beat the raid faster than i can solo right there if you can't don't worry because there's a lot more harder raids to beat and why am i walking like this what is wrong with me i think for the next raid i'll do the ice awakening next and these guys over here are asking for help in a buddha raid little do they know i'm gonna have to go solo the Buddha raid myself. That is a raid actually not meant for a solo raid at all. Okay, here we are. We're starting the ice raid now. Let's go ahead and transform into Big Buddha. And I don't know why I still look like this. Okay, let's see how much time we start off with. 12 minutes, 30 seconds like usual. Let's just speed run through this first island and hopefully get there a lot faster. First island is clear. We got to go to the next one, but I got to get there fast. Oh my gosh, I am messing up already. Not bad. We're at 1050 after clearing the second island. Now we're going to the third. Please, we got to get through this fast. The only downside about the Ice Awakening is that they do have stuns. So you just sit there and just like waste time for a couple seconds seconds while well, you can't hit them back so that kind of sucks i know i'm already not excited for the doe awakening there's two special raids we have to do and that's the phoenix and doe and i really don't want to be doed on oh my gosh i'm getting stunned okay I think there's one left right here on this third island. There we go. We're going to the fourth now with all the igloos. My homeland, the ice area. 
I swear, if I get stunned again one more time, I'm gonna be freaking angry. Okay, they're about to die right now, and I think we're about to go to the boss island. We are finally at the boss island, and there's about eight and a half minutes left. So we're still going at a good rate, but the stuns right here are gonna be ridiculously bad, and I already know it. Okay, the boss is here, and I keep getting stunned. Please stop with the stuns. I'm begging. Okay, we have about eight minutes left, and I keep getting stunned. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just keep getting stunned. This is where speedrunners flop for reasons like this. Okay, he, the boss is at like half health now, and there's still a couple of NPCs that are helping him out. I just got to get rid of both of them at the same time, and hopefully it will be a lot faster that way. I got to use strategy here. I can't just keep crying as I get stunned again. Please let me finish before seven minutes ends, and I think that's about it. We finished at 7.08. Not bad for the ice raid. There's still 10 more to go now, so if we talk to the mysterious scientist again, we go to the normal raids. We did flame and ice. Now we have Quake. Quake's gonna be one I'm gonna be afraid to do. Now that we got our Quake chip, let's go ahead and put it in the machine and get this raid on the road. Here we are in the Quake map, and oh my gosh, I got stuck under the tree. Okay, three, two, one go. Okay, I think every raid starts at 12:30, so I don't think I need to count down every single time. But from the rate I'm looking at, these NPCs are actually easier than the other raids, but this is still the first island, so I can't be too hopeful just yet. If they all spawn in one area, this will be a lot easier to clap them. Here we go, first island cleared, and it's actually a lot faster than the past two raids. I think the quake raids don't actually use the quake fruit except for the boss, so there's nothing much to stun me with. But man, I do actually love the quake fruit, and as I say that, I get stunned by a spiky ball. The quake fruit does remind me of some good times that I had with Rectway's mo- I mean, uh, some good times I had PvPing with it. Here we are on the third island already. Already. We're actually going way faster than the other two raids. I could already tell. You know what? I think not touching grass because I play Bloxfords was actually a good idea. It's actually paying off. Here we are going to the fourth island already. Yeah, this is really good. Oh yeah, and if you guys are curious on why I'm not using the mink race to get around faster, it's simply because... Whoa. Oh, somebody spawned an Indra. I just got scared real quick. An unknown being has entered the world. That's crazy. If you spawn Indra during a raid, all of a sudden the raid area shakes like that too. That scared me. But as I was saying until I got scared, using the mink race is nice. It gets you around faster, but I need this defense from shark race to keep me alive during these solo raids. Uh oh guys, it looks like this raid is actually flopping. We're going at a slower rate because all of a sudden all these NPCs are super tanky. They have a bunch of HP unlike all the other ones. They spawn like a whole army of them and expected me to fight them all and here we are we're going to the fifth boss island now oh my gosh everybody's using the quake fruit all of a sudden all these npcs have the quake fruit and they're just hitting me with the awakened quake abilities oh my gosh they're just throwing their balls at me wait hold up not like that that's not what i meant but oh my gosh even the boss has the awakened balls stop smacking me with your balls npcs we just have to melt the boss and all these other npcs okay yeah, I don't think this is going to be the fastest raid. I just keep getting smacked away. Oh my gosh, my screen is shaking nonstop. I'm getting a headache, please. <laughs> okay, I have to awaken for V4 here. And my awakening just killed a bunch of NPCs. Okay, we have to melt this boss before I get a headache and can't continue this speed run. My screen is shaking like no other raid before. I forgot how much craziness is going on every time you use the quake fruit. Look at my damage though. I'm over 100,000 damage just on killing a bunch of NPCs here. I want to see if I could reach 300,000 damage. Okay, so far we're almost there. Okay, we're easily breaking 300k damage. Oh, I lost my damage chain, but it's okay. I think I'm about to kill the final boss here. And yeah, we're not going as fast as we did on the other ones. Unfortunate. There we go. We killed the boss and we finished this raid at 623. Yikes. This was definitely not one of the faster ones, but 623 is not bad. After Quake, it looks like we got Light Fruit now. So let's go ahead and buy the Light Fruit raid. Here we are in the Light Fruit raid. And this first island is actually super easy because they all spawn in this pyramid. Just wish me luck and hopefully it doesn't get out of control. All I have to do is just swing around this pyramid and they all start to take damage and they all die super fast. Oh, Never mind, they spawn outside of it too. What the heck? I thought they only spawn in the pyramid. I guess I was wrong. But at this rate, I am just destroying them all super fast. So it doesn't even matter. They're really easy to destroy in the first island like usual, but... I don't think there's too much stunning that happens. There we go. The first island is cleared in like about like 40 seconds, actually. The second island is not so bad either. It's actually really fast. I'm honestly more worried about the fourth and the fifth island. And you guys will see why. We're already going to the third. Okay, I think this is the last NPC of the third island. And it is. We're actually going to the fourth now, which is the bridge island. One of the islands I hate because they all spawn 
everywhere. I'm gonna have to move back and forth to try to kill them all super fast, but this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Oh my gosh, stop stunning me. Guys, I am losing my mind. Touching grass does not sound like a bad idea all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. The fourth island is cleared. Now the nightmare island. I hate this island so much because you have to go inside the pyramid, and sometimes when you go outside, they just spawn outside or get flung through the pyramid, so they go outside, and you have to run all the way back out, and so on. I really hope that doesn't happen now, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and try transform in this pyramid and try to melt them all super fast. I need them all to bunch up over here so I can hit them all at the same time. That way it'll be a lot faster. Okay, we killed about four NPCs and there's a lot more to deal with, but I gotta get my race four awakening because I have to transform in. Oh my gosh, I just got attacked by the boss. Okay, there we go. I awakened, so now I have a shield for some protection, at least. That was scary. The boss attacked me as soon as I transformed out of Buddha, which means I lost my bonus defense stats. He was almost able to one-shot me there. I'm melting this boss super quick. I think I'm just gonna finish this raid right under seven minutes, I believe. We finished the raid with 6.44 time left, so a little bit under seven minutes. Not too bad, but we are constantly getting to the harder raids. Every time I complete one, it only gets worse from here. So let's see what the next one's gonna be. We have Dark Than Spider. Oh man, I am so not ready for this. Here we are, one of the most spooky raids of all. This is the Dark Raids, and the map does look pretty cool, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of stuns. All these NPCs have stuns that are gonna slow down my speedrun, so I'm gonna be so sad. Let's just go ahead and clap all these NPCs' cheeks and go to the next. And there we go. We're going to the third island with the green infected ball over there. Anyways, we just gotta go ahead and clap them, and I got stunned again. Oh my gosh, this is not good. I keep getting stunned. And there we go. We are now going to the fourth island, I believe, and there is two big giant green infected balls now. Fourth island complete and now we're going to the last boss island. But for some reason my character is broken again and is doing this weird pose. I think it happens when I awaken or something because it's happened twice now. The boss and his minions are all the way up here on this stupid bridge thingy up in the building. I have to get rid of them fast because they're just gonna keep respawning and helping him out. And that means more stuns and I can't have more stuns. The only stuns I'm about to do is with Rectway's mom. I mean with the boss. We're about to absolutely clap him, right guys? Rectway, if you're watching this video, um, I don't take it back. This is gonna be the fastest raid we might have completed as long as we beat the seven minute mark. If we get it done after seven minutes, I think we're chilling. And there's one NPC left. Please just die already, NPC. Do not spawn anymore because if they keep spawning, I don't think I'm gonna beat this record again. Let me beat it before seven minutes. Come on. And I think I beat it. There we go. Seven minutes and eight seconds. That is perfect. Anyways, my brain is so fried from doing all those raids. Let's see what we have next because I already forgot. So next is Spider. I am so not ready for Spider Raid. Spider is gonna be crazy too. So here we are in the Spider Raid now and hopefully things go smoothly here because I know the Spider has, I think, probably the most stuns out of every raid we've done so far. There is also another fruit that spawned in, but it's about 9.7 thousand miles away or meters away, so I don't think this is gonna work so well. I'm, I'm not getting that for sure. Here we are going to the second island already at a pretty good rate as well. And now we're already going to the third island. I have to get there fast. And what is this? This looks like the, the laboratory from like the, uh, the second C. I'm killing them way faster than they're spawning, so I think I'm uh, going at a pretty good pace if that that's happening. Oh, here we go. Here's the first stun. How was that person able to use the spider fruit? I can't tell if that's the awakening form. No, not yet. I think the awakening form of spider is way bigger than that. But as you can tell, I'm getting stunned from miles away. This is terrible. But I think we're already going to be going to the fourth island. And yes, we are. Oh my gosh, I'm still getting stunned. I'm getting tossed around. Oh my gosh, bro. Can I please attack? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I don't care. I got the cursed dual katanas. I can fly back even if I get sent 100 miles away. I don't care if I go to the moon. I'm coming back. As I say that, I get stunned again and again. Okay, hopefully we clear them fast enough so they stop sending me away like that. I'm about to lose my mind. If it happens again, I'm going to scream. Oh my gosh, here we go with the multi-screen. I've had enough. <laughs> This is not a joke anymore. I thought it was funny the first 20 times, but, uh, come on. Okay, we just gotta finish him, and then we'll be finally- Bro! There we go. We clapped him, and now we're finally able to go to the fifth island. There's gonna be more stuns awaiting me there. I already know it. Oh my gosh. Already off to an amazing start, as you guys can tell. Here we go. Just keep stunning me. Here we go. Bro! Oh my gosh. This is gonna be bad. If I can't damage them because they stun me too much, my shield will break as shark rays and I will die. I won't be able to finish the raid if they all clap me by stunning me 20 times in a row. I killed four of them and it looks like there's a boss and maybe a couple more NPCs. Not too much, hopefully, but these stuns are not helping. 
This speed run is not good. You could thank all the stuns. Buddha is one of the hardest raids I am not looking forward to, but I think that's coming up very, very soon in the near future. And there are still two more special awakenings, which are Doe and Phoenix that I mentioned earlier. I think this is the last boss here. Oh, never mind. Another one spawned. A couple more NPCs spawned. If I get rid of them, I could finally get out of this. I don't even care anymore. This is not even a speed run for this raid. This is more like a torture chamber. Just get me out. I don't want to be in this raid anymore, please. All right, there we go. We finished with 546. That is the worst number we have ever seen so far. Out of all of that, that was the worst. What is next after Spider? Let's find out. We are not doing the advanced raids yet. Yet. Let's go to normal still. We did flame, ice, quake, light, dark spider, rumble, then magma. Okay, so I guess we gotta do rumble now. And if I'm not mistaken, rumble has a crazy stun when it's awakened too. This actually gives me hope for Buddha because Buddha doesn't have any stun. But we're already going to the second island, so this is going by actually pretty decently fast. And we're already zooming to the third island. I can't believe I got this far just by doing solo raids. I think these are the last two NPCs for the third island, and now we're going to the fourth. This looks like a carbon copy of like Sky Islands from the first C. I know that's what it's supposed to be based from, but I like it. It's pretty cool. Sky Islands was like one of my favorite islands in the first C. Okay, after killing these last two NPCs, we are going to the boss island who's going to be using the Awakened Rumble Fruit. Oh man, I am so not ready for this. There's already a bunch of NPCs. I just have to go ahead and awaken my race before here. And then I should be chilling because I think it gives me bonus damage. I'm not 100% sure, but let me go ahead and awaken here. And then uh, hopefully clap them super fast here. So it looks like I'm about to kill the boss slightly under seven minutes, which isn't too bad, but it's not the fastest either. But 648 is how fast I cleared this raid. Because once again, my brain is on grind mode. I already forgot what's next after the rumble fruit. And if I'm not mistaken, it is the magma fruit now. We're gonna awaken magma. So here we are in the magma island and am I going crazy or is it a lot darker and spookier than it normally is? Maybe I'm going crazy. After all the raids are complete, I'm curious. I wonder which raid I speed ran the fastest. Here we go, second island. And we're going at a good pace like usual, but it typically slows down when they add stuns into the mix. I think we're about to go to the third island and we are. Wow, this is actually a lot faster than the other ones. I think this might be the record, right? here we are going to the fourth island super fast now yeah this has to be the record i believe or maybe not the npcs are actually spawning a lot further away because this island is a lot bigger than the other ones if they get closer together we'll have a better fighting chance and never mind i'm getting stunned now uh oh i'm getting flashbacks please no as long as i can melt them faster than they can spawn that means i'm going at a good pace after defeating this one over here i think we're gonna be going to the fifth island and yes we are i need to beat this timer when is the boss spawning oh it's counting at the top okay he's finally spawned in i have to bring him and all the npcs all close together so i can all deal damage to all of them i forgot how sus the magma fruit is especially when he shoots you and they're like oh yep as i was saying that okay never mind he didn't make it as sus as it normally is but sometimes you shoot this like magma goop and it's pretty nasty it sends you uh pretty far and it looks nasty but i don't think he's done it yet so that's fine the boss is at a quarter health and so are all the other npcs i don't think any more are gonna be spawning but i think this might be the record please just die already okay i have to beat 703 i believe i think 703 is the record holder and he just magma all over me no way do i beat it at 703 oh my gosh i just missed it by one second 702 no way he hit me with that magma and sent me flying that ruined the record right there no way so we did rumble and magma right now it looks like we have two more left than the normal ones and that is buddha in sand buddha is one that is not meant to be soloed it is like actually insanely hard to solo buddha raid but i believe i can do it guys it's time i am so afraid right now just kidding i'm gonna absolutely destroy this buddha raid i know i'm sweaty i don't touch grass i've trained for this moment i know i bet half of you guys skip to this part of the video because this is the most intense raid of all besides phoenix and doe which are the next i think three or four coming up so hopefully i can do this and go to those ones but why are all these buddha statues grabbing their yeah never mind i've mentioned that before i don't know why they never updated it they knew what they were doing uzoth Ziolas, what are you guys doing in the studio, huh? Bet you guys were laughing in your chairs when you guys made these statues. Anyways, we're going to the second island. Okay, hopefully we can melt them fast. I don't think this is gonna be a speed run. I think this is more gonna be a survival challenge, but I think I can still do it, no problem. I'm built different. I'm using the shark race. I got durability, but that boss is gonna be something else. I could already tell. As long as I speed run this to at least a decent pace, then I'll be chilling. I really hope I don't go below like 
six minutes on this raid and we're already at the third island so i don't see that happening i think the raid boss might have the most hp in the game besides like the doe king itself i just realized what is this statue doing bro why are you up there stretching like that that's a little sus anyways i am melting these npcs like it's nothing oh look there's a baby buddha i have a kid wow. wait a second no i don't actually have a kid but there's a little baby buddha that just got absolutely clapped and destroyed i actually melted him way faster than i thought i was let me go ahead and finish off these npcs oh there we go we already got it we're going to the fourth island and why is this buddha statue hugging this thingy uh oh we're already starting off strong the mini buddhas already spawned as the first npcs on the fourth island if i beat the buddha raid they for real need to nerf me because i am op soloing buddha raid is pretty hard if you guys are able to solo buddha raid let me know down below because buddha raid soloing is pretty impressive at least from what i've been told we just gotta clap this last mini buddha once he's clapped we can go to the next island and there we go we are going to the boss island now this is the moment of truth the boss can literally one-shot players so this is where it gets really tough. The boss is a different level and all his NPCs that spawn here are all a bunch of mini Buddhas too. So this is really scary. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is actually terrifying. Hold up. I have to awaken now. It's now or never. I'm going to get one shot if I don't awaken. Look at how many mini Buddhas are there. This is getting outrageous. My shark V4 has to protect me from him. If it doesn't protect me, I am done here. But from the looks of it, my health bar isn't going down because of the shield. The shield is what's saving me right now. But the NPCs keep spawning. What's crazy is the boss doesn't have a health bar either. So I can't tell if the boss is low or I'm low. Look at the damage already. I've already dealt over 350,000 damage to all the NPCs here in the boss. 500k damage. Can we get to a million damage? I don't know. Never mind. He stunned me. No. Oh, okay. I didn't break the chain. We're at a good pace here. Seven minutes left on the timer at the top of our screen. Am I going to solo it like it's nothing? Oh no, he's going to ruin my streak. I lost the 700k damage mark. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm about to clap this boss's cheeks like he's nothing, bro. You know, I'm going to use the cursed dual katana abilities on you for disrespect too. Look at that. Get dashed, bozo. Oh my gosh, that was easy peasy. Six minutes, 35 seconds? Get out of my face, bro. And I can awaken Buddha even though I've already fully awakened it. Hello, mysterious entity. I want to seek ascension. I've already taught you everything I know. Yeah, I know, buddy. I've done all your raids and why is he so short? Poor guy never grew. So I guess we got no other choice but to take me back. And that leaves, I believe, one more raid from the normal raids. Yep, we got to do sand and that's it for the normal raids. We still got two more after sand. Here we are in the sand raid now, boys. I am so burnt out. Out. we still got two more raids left and they're gonna be some of the harder raids as well i think doe is next and that's actually the hardest of all buddha might be second hardest of all of them but i don't want to get dote on that's my main concern and chop chop we're already going to the second island not bad not bad I was genuinely surprised I finished that Buddha raid earlier at 635. Normally, I was like expecting like four minutes or something like that, but solo raiding Buddha like that and actually succeeding is impressive. To the third island for sand. Okay, we are just melting these guys like it's nothing. And now we're going to the fourth island. I think after clapping these last two NPCs, we'll be going to the boss island in just a second. And I got hit by some sandy balls. All right, we killed the last NPC and there's the boss island over there. As you guys can already tell, it's getting pretty bad there's a bunch of npcs i need to go ahead and awaken so i take reduced damage here <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh i just threw them all all right let's go ahead and clap them as fast as we can boys we got 745 on the clock so that's not bad still and he hits me with a ball again but the boss is at least at 25 percent hp i am slightly under seven minutes but that's because how many times he keeps trapping me with his balls and he's about to get absolutely clapped i think this might be the slowest time but that's because of how many stuns 627 yeah that's probably the slowest i'm not gonna lie but that concludes all of the normal raids we still have to do the advanced raids which are gonna show up right here i think yeah all we have is phoenix and doe left so i guess we gotta do phoenix but we have to trade an expensive fruit let's see what fruits we got to trade we got a lot of mythicals and we got a lot of legendaries but i don't think i want to trade something really really expensive but it has to be at least 1 million value and the cheapest thing i got is love fruit so we're gonna have to get rid of this love fruit trade 1 million physical fruit or purchase them for a thousand fragments but we can't purchase it yet so we lost the love fruit unfortunately let's just hope this phoenix raid is a lot faster than the others because this speed run is draining me this is the sweatiest i have ever been in quite a while i'm not gonna lie it's almost as sweaty as that time i trained for 24 
for hours to destroy every other block street youtuber and that was pretty intense as well already going to the second island in the phoenix raid not too bad one thing that i like about the advanced raids is how different the islands look from the normal raids they look completely unique like you got floating rocks over there you got some like green and blue effects going on in this map you don't really see those colors in any other one we just clapped the last one in the second island which means we're gonna go to the third island i'm not gonna jump on those rocks because they're gonna take way too long i'm just gonna fly over there with my cursed dual katanas god human combo and then i'm chilling i am so not ready for that last raid the last raid's the dough raid and i know you guys are excited to watch me get doughed on and i don't know why oh gosh a bunch of npcs just appeared out of nowhere and they're sending me flying there we go now the fourth island just spawned oh my gosh i forgot a bunch of sea beasts just spawned and that just scared me oh no they're gonna ruin my speed run they're gonna keep stunning me while i'm trying to continue this I was actually at a good pace too. We're on the fourth island at just under nine minutes. This could have been the record right here. Now that these sea beasts are here, they're going to be causing problems for me. As long as they don't use the stun abilities, I should be fine. And never mind, they're sending me flying. I gotta melt these guys. Please, let me be. Okay, there's one more NPC left. If you kill the last NPC, you don't have to kill the sea beasts. They just die over there. But there's gonna be more at the last island. I'm at eight minutes, so this isn't too bad. But these sea beasts are causing problems for sure. And here we go. Three more sea beasts spawn. I'm just killing all the minions right now and the boss eventually. I don't think this is gonna be a record. I'm not sure. It can be still. It's not impossible. Never mind, it's impossible. I can't see. I'm stuck. What is going on? See, I thought I had it chance until i said something about it and then the game punished me for it but it's okay because i'm melting this boss actually a lot faster than i thought i was so the boss is about to get his cheeks clapped boss is down what about these npcs over here oh my gosh they actually just keep spawning oh my gosh and the cb are attacking chill out oh dang i think this is gonna be the slowest raid of them all I think the slowest we had was 635, and this one is 631. Yeah, this is the slowest raid, but we still have one more chance. We are now about to start the final raid. It's pretty smoky and foggy in here because they actually just summoned Indra. So let's go ahead and trade a fruit again. I'm just going to lose a blood fruit. I don't even care anymore. Let's go ahead and talk to him, get the dough raid, and finish this video off. There we go. We have the dough raid. I am so not ready for this. This is going to be torture, but I think it's worth it. Wait, what? Why is the dough raid all foggy and smoky? What the heck? This is even harder for me. Hopefully they kill Indra in time so I can start seeing the map better because I love the way the dough map looks okay wait it keeps getting sus every time i talk about it i think i'm gonna stop talking about doughing on stuff hopefully we can clear this first island super fast and hopefully they can clear indra because i want to be able to see again and there we go we cleared the first island and i can't even see the second island no way it's just pure white over there and there it is there's the second island i'm just going to the light and hoping for the best if you guys made it to this part of the video so far go ahead and leave a like and sub because you guys are real ones and also Drop like a secret message in the comments. I'm going to say the secret message right now. The message is number school does not touch grass. <laughs> it looks like they killed Indra so we could finally see again, which is pretty good because we actually have 10 and a half minutes. Maybe I didn't notice, but I think we got more time on the dough raid than the other raids. Or maybe I'm just super good at it and I'm just melting all of them. Okay, if I kill this last one, I think... Oh, he's doing on me. No! Okay, there we go. We are now going to the fourth island. But since we're at the fourth island, there is a chance there's going to be a bunch of dough users here doughing all over me. Let's chill out on the doughing, please. You know what? I think I'm just going to keep my mouth shut from now on out. Oh my gosh, I'm at half health. Okay, okay, okay. I'm about to die. I have to transform. Oh my gosh, wait. My awakening isn't working anymore. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. You know what? I have to save my awakening for the boss island. This couldn't have gone bad faster than it just did. Okay, there we go. We just cleared the fourth island. Now it's time to go to the fifth island with only half health. I have to save my awakening for the boss. The boss hurts so much there. He's also able to combo me, which is not going to be good. If he combos me, I am completely done for. I have to get my race awakening before so it can protect me with that shield. And please let me deal enough damage before the boss spawns. Okay, I think... I think I'm good now. If I am good, I should be able to awaken here, which I'm going to try real quick. And there we are. Perfect. I am able to awaken. Now this dough boss is going to get absolutely clapped. I'm going to show him who's the real dough boss. Wait, hold on. Not like that. And I am getting completely dote on. Okay, this raid is actually not bad. I am actually speedrunning this at a good pace here. And I got double doed. How does this even make any sense? Can I beat this raid at seven minutes exactly? I really hope so. That would be really cool, but... If I cannot get stunned, that would also be nice too. We're almost there. We can't mess up here. Will I beat at like 715? 710? Wait, is this the fastest we've ever beat a raid? 
711. Okay, we beat this rate at 711 exactly. Is that the fastest? I am not sure, guys. But what I am sure of is we beat all 12 raids and we tried our best to speedrun all of them. Let me know. Can you guys solo every single raid in Bloxroots? If you can, leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.